Name them. Stop doing that. You're being incredibly, incredibly rude. I'm asking you to name Then be quiet and I will, please. When you didn't have a gift, at least a Rinna's house, and then you had to say, your ugly leather pants, you lost your there. You're upset because you're jealous? Jealous of what? Your yes. ugly leather <gasps> pants? No, 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 no. 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 You lost your in Lake Tahoe. I was going to leave this morning. Seriously. This helps me. You lost your at the show. Did that whole thing in Vegas. You did not seem okay in Vegas. And you don't seem okay now, frankly. I feel like your reaction I am, I am. I I'm heated right you now because- You seem unhinged. Everyone says Sutton's kooky, but this isn't kooky. This is just flat out bizarre. What's going on? There's nothing going on. There's nothing going on. What's going on with you? What is going on with me? I don't know. What does that mean? I don't know. What's going on in your life, Kyle? Because you never talk about you. Your life is perfect. You live in a fortress on top of a very, very high pedestal. Bring it on, babe. I'm happy to answer any of your questions. I'm not bringing it on. Okay. I hope you're well. I am and well. And I do love you, and we'll talk another time. Sutton is out of her mind right now. I just feel like I need to get out of here before I get to the point of no return. I'll walk you out. I'm good. Bye. Hello? Hey, um, are you in the car? Uh-huh. Okay, cool. We're passing the C's candies, if you know where that is. Okay. I have um, three bags. Three bags? I have a carry-on. Oh, yeah, okay. So, I was like, how yeah. long are you planning on staying? Uh, um, for a couple of years. Bitch. That is shady <laughs> as <laughs> Okay, I will talk to you later. Okay, bye. Bye. My mother and I have had our good times and our bad times, and yes, there have been times I didn't want to talk to my mom. Hi, Mom. Up. Oh, okay, I got this. All right, great. Thanks. Uh-huh, come on in. She visits me in L.A. about once a year for a couple days, and then we start getting on each other's nerves. <laughs> How are you? Oh, good. Thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. Of course. I'm happy to be here. Thanks, Mommy. Yeah. I love you. My mother and I are very close in age, and a lot of times growing up, she felt like a sibling instead of a parent. You're slim. What's going on with you? You're slim. What's with going on? The last on? time you were, I was, do you remember you told me you're, I was fat the last time you were here. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> we had a good time, she and I. I would sneak around and go clubbing with her and her friends. I would have a drink. I was living like I was 20 and I was 14, 15. You have a choice. So I set you up in my room. Now I can either sleep on the sofa I have a futon, I can sleep on the floor. No, I don't want you doing any or of that. Or I can sleep with you. You can sleep with me. At the old place, she could be on the other side of the house. I didn't have to deal with her. Here, she's right here. We're sleeping in the same bed. I don't want to do this, I'm grown. Mom, where'd you go? Right here. Oh my here. God. I don't want to do this. Do you want help? Did you get the other one? No, I didn't get the other one. Well, get the other one. Mommy got all this This house is so tight already. Have you started cooking? Yeah. So what are you cooking? Steak. That looks amazing. Wow. Oh, are you OK? <clears throat> it's too high. Oh, my god. Hey, Jade. That's a crust right there, Mom. You got to listen to it sizzle. OK. My relationship with Jade, sometimes I feel Jade is like my boyfriend, because he's protective. <laughs> he doesn't like drama. So we have a lot of fun. It's easier. Jay doesn't challenge me as much as Jax. Remember when we went to the beach? Yeah, yeah. 
And Jackson and I were talking. There was times where I think I needed more than you were giving me in terms of parenting. But as of now, I feel that I don't need that much parenting anymore. I feel like part of the reason why I want my boys to express themselves to me is because I couldn't express myself to my mother. And although I'm their parent, I also want to have a relationship with them and not just be the parent. It's the hardest job. <laughs> and it doesn't end. <laughs> he hurt my feelings, obviously. He did? Yeah. He was saying that he wants more freedom. Oh, I know that. Do you want more freedom? You don't go outside. I don't, but um, <laughs> you know what uh, freedom I want? What? You should let Ashlyn sleep over. No way. Why? No way. First of all, her mom would never allow oh, it. Oh, that's facts. Facts. And I'm not allowing it either. I couldn't even date at 15. You also came from 80. What does it have to do with anything? <laughs> As a teen, I wasn't allowed to talk to boys. We actually had a car chase once. I told my parents I was going to Debbie's house. And Debbie's mother called looking for Debbie. <laughs> So next thing I know, I'm driving my mom's car. I have a boy in the passenger seat and I see my dad coming. And I go, oh my God. And I start driving, he starts following me. I'm taking red lights. So finally there was one red light he couldn't take after me. So I screeched to a halt, I said, get out of the car. And he got out of the car and my father came up and he said, follow me home. And oh, it was not pretty.